Hello, my name is Gustavo Sosa, I'm going to point another video from ST Microelectronics. In this video, we will present a gauge widget, how to use it, how to customize it. We will use the TouchFX Designer, the stm 32 cube ID, and the Nucleo G071RB with a display expansion X Nucleo GFX01M1. The hardware is intended for low cost applications with a stm 32 G0 with only 32 case of RAM. 128 case of flash, an LCD with SPI interface, and SPI flash. The project will have only one screen with two gauge, displaying the STM32G0 internal temperature sensor, and the other one an external voltage. In this video, we will create the UI and configure the ADC. At another video, we will do the ADC and UI integration. Select the STM32G0 application template and blank UI. To create the UI, we will add a white box, logos images. When adding the logos images to the project, we will add the images for the page too. Navigate to the folder where you have the images. We will load ST logos and the gauges background and needle images too. We add the second logo image. As background will be a light blue box. It is time to add the gauge. Go to widgets and search for the gauge widget. As we will personalize the gauge, at the style change to no style. Now let's select the personalized head gauge image at gauge background. After, we'll select the personalized needle image. Next step is to tell the needle and its point of rotation, the rotation center. This number are pixels coordinates related to the needle image. In this case, it's 9 and 49. Similar, we need to tell to the gauge background the pivot where the needle will rotate relative to the gauge background. The gauge rotation center for this background is 22 and 100. Next step is to set the rotation angle for the needles relative to the gauge background. For this gauge is 188 degrees and 0 degrees. Finally, need to set the value range that will accept the gauge. This gauge is for the voltage. The range will be from 0 to 3300 and set the initial value of the gauge. Now we will add the second gauge for the temperature sensor. We will repeat the same steps as for the first gauge for the voltage. Add a second gauge widget. Select no style. Add images for the gauge background and the needle. The needle rotation center is the same as previous, 9 and 49. The gauge background rotation center here will be 100 and 100. And the rotation angles are minus 180 degrees and 0 degrees. As this is for the temperature, the value range will be from minus 10 to 70. To finish the UI, we will add some text over the gauges to have its range value and units. Also, we'll add some text to identify the gauge. The labels for unit and range in the gauges will be with a small black letter. For the temperature gauge, will be 70 and minus 10 Celsius degrees. For the voltage gauge, will be from 0 to 3.3 volts. To identify the gauges, the labels will be white default size.
The following steps are only needed for this hardware. In fact, from all our evaluation boards with a TouchFX application template, this is the only one that requires this. It is because of the external SPI flash and MCU speeds. With other more powerful hardware and faster external memory, this will not be required. At the top, go to Images, and for the needle image, we'll change its location from external flash to the internal flash. This is done at both, at section and extra section. Now, need to go to Project Configuration, Framework Features, and select RGB888. We can generate the project now. After generation, open the project folder location from the folder icon at the bottom right. Navigate to the STM32CubeID folder and open the CubeID project. At CubeID, open the ICO file. This could be done with CubeMX2. At the dialog box, select Continue, so CubeMX project is not updated. Now let's look for the ADC peripheral. We'll enable channel 4, in 4, and temperature sensor channel. We'll change the prescaler to synchronous by 4. As we have more than one ADC channel, we need to configure the sequencer. Change it to sequencer, set not to fully configurable. Scan conversion mode now is enabled. Leave it as forward. We need to change the sampling time to be in line with the timing required by the temperature sensor. Set it to 39.5 cycles. We will work the ADC by interrupts, so go to the Invict tab and enable it. Next step is due to a small bug we have now, but will be fixed and later will not be required. The file is overwritten by the QBMX generation. We need to backup file TouchFX Generation Data Reader CPP located at TouchFX Target Generated. We will backup it up at the project root. Now we can generate the code at CubeID or CubeMX. After generation, we can copy and restore the backup file. Each time we generate code with QID or QMX, we will need to do this. See you at the next part where we will link the ADC to the gauges. Thank you for watching.